Well, there are many different ways to do total hip replacements, and I, I think that I do them uniquely or um, in a way in which very few surgeons do them. I do them through an anterior approach. It's called the direct anterior approach. And when you do it through the direct anterior approach, you don't cut any muscles. You actually go between the muscle groups and hold them apart like the bristles of a broom. You do the surgery, and when you take your retractors out, you, the muscles are literally restored to their full and natural strength. There's some bruising of the muscles, there's some bleeding into the muscles, but it is a much, I believe, uh, and, I, and I've been in this for a long time, um, and did them traditionally for a long time, but I believe that these patients get better dramatically faster, and they have full, uh, a more potential for a full recovery than any other way that I've ever done them. One of the beauties of the anterior approach is that you don't have any restrictions. You can bend as far as is comfortable, you can twist, you can lay on your left side, you can lay on your right side, whatever is comfortable. And I don't restrict them from doing anything. Many doctors talk about avoiding repetitive impacts. You know, I, I, I think I'd rather have somebody who's running and staying in good shape than I would have the, the patient who is really severely deconditioned. Perhaps we should avoid things like uh, water skiing or snow skiing because there's such a long lever arm and, that, and if you catch a ski, it could torque the leg and, and cause a problem from that standpoint. But otherwise, I let them do virtually everything they want to do.